Well, hello, Toop. We are back with another Crichton, a.k.a. John Lang, a.k.a. Michael Crichton. Easy go. This one makes absolutely no sense. The cover. I don't know who these marauders with guns are. No idea. But, affiliate link down below to bookshop.org. These are getting reissued at the end of this year. Uh, I think it's December. Um, they're getting all new hard cover I, I don't remember off the top of my head what press is doing it uh but they are getting hardcover uh new hardcover reissue so you don't have to try to hunt down all these um these hard case crimes which these are i like these books all right but they're kind of hard to find some of them and for a used trade paperback they're kind of pricey some of them so that's great because uh, you might be able just to wait. If you could wait until a few months and just get new hardcovers, they might not be all that much more expensive than trying to hunt down these trade paperbacks today. So uh, this one was a released copyright 1968. And if you don't know, uh, if you have this, if this is the first train wreck of a video of mine that you've stumbled onto. Uh, Michael Crichton did a bunch of these under John Lang. So if you ever, if you come across any paperbacks, like old mass markets or whatever, with the John Lang name on it, they might be worth a couple bucks. You might want to pick them up out of your uh, local thrift store. So. so out of the John Lang books, this is number three. And this is by far my favorite so far. Uh, this was so much fun. It's um, a little beefier than the other two. But this was like if Michael Crichton wrote Indiana Jones, kind of. Maybe not as not as classic or whatever, but it, it was it was so much fun. So you have this guy who is a um I guess he's an archaeologist. The guy that reads the hieroglyph hieroglyphics hierographics. You know what I'm talking about. Probably not, but we're going to pretend like you do. Uh, he he reads like this obscure one that... Uh, can I set this down? He reads this obscure one that reveals a never-before-known-about pharaoh or king or whatever. And so he, along with the help of a journalist, kind of a journal... I don't really know who you're supposed to follow in this book. That's the one downside to it. But it kind of feels like, to me, the journalist is the main dude. But the journalist gets his team together. And they formulate this plan. Because you can't just go raid a, you know, a 3,000 or whatever year old tomb in Egypt and get away with it. You know, you're not getting the goods out of the country there. You know, they are uh, pretty good about... Uh, about catching people and god only knows what happens to people who try to steal uh priceless artifacts out of that country because i'm sure they don't do very nice things to them but they devise this plan to where they could raid this tomb assuming that it's it's intact and basically sell it back to the egyptian government for um you know, for, for millions and millions of dollars. So this 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 team gets together. They get out in the desert. Lo and behold, there's actually a, a a tomb out there that no one knew about. Grave robbers never got to it, which is super duper rare, I guess. Um, and they're the first ones in it, and of course, it's full of all sorts of goodies and. Uh, Maybe that's where we should end the story because in typical Michael Crichton fashion, the ending is very lackluster. However, it's an ending that I can respect. Um, some of it, I've always been let down by, and I've, I've not read all Michael Crichton yet. We're working on that. I've usually almost always get let down by Michael Crichton endings. But this one was kind of comical and um, kind of like if I try to devise a plan of stealing priceless artifact from a country and try to sell it back to them, 
probably how it's going to end up for me. Assuming that I'm smart enough to even get that far. So, overall, easy go by Michael Crichton. Like I said, by far, this is my favorite so far. Again, I'm only, I'm technically four in because... But I haven't talked about the other, the number four yet, of course. We haven't got to it. But so far in in, in this um, John Lang series, by far my favorite. It's going to be hard to top it, to be honest. But I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we get some other ones down the line. Uh, we saw Zero Cool, which I've read. Uh, the Venom Business, Drug of Choice, Grave Descent, and Binary. So... Um, I think Binary was Binary made into a movie. I think a couple of these were made into a movie. But yeah, so Michael Crichton, let me know down below. Have you read it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Where am I right? Where am I wrong? Uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It really was. Very much, I'd say, if you're not a Michael Crichton completionist and you just want some random Michael Crichton to read, this is definitely one to go get. Um by by far i don't know why i had to say uh he had to be a michael crank completion so that makes no sense because you should read it you should read it if you're a fan of michael crying or this is even a good place this is actually a, a really good place to start for michael crying because it's fun and it's not bogged down by a ton of uh scientific mumbo jumbo that i, I ran into with a drama dust train but that's for another video so easy go again let me know down below uh what uh, have you read it? if you've not read it if you want to read it and if uh what you thought of it if you did read it um cheers peeps